So my name is Steve McCallovich. I graduated from Ohio State actually 10 years ago. Uh, so I've got a 10-year uh, career, um, all in marketing, with a heavy emphasis on uh, digital and content. And what's sort of unique about my background is I've sort of worked in different sectors. So I've worked for Fortune 100 companies, uh, I've worked in nonprofit, I've worked in agency, um, and I've also worked in startups. I currently work at Nationwide as a uh, digital planning consultant. I definitely think you need to keep an eye on what, uh, not just what your competitors are doing, but really what everybody is doing. Um, it's a really crowded space now. There's not really, uh, you know, room for error. You need to really hit people hard and, and provide them something that adds value to their life um, or something that they just will truly enjoy and be entertained with. You know, don't do social for the sake of doing social. Um, really have a buttoned up strategy and understand like how you're going to communicate to people and, and what sort of connections you're trying to make with social. Vanity and metrics are, are really key. I mean, you want to understand, you know, what people are doing, how people are interacting with the content, you know, what is getting more impressions and engagements uh, than, you know, other kinds of content. But it's also really important to sort of understand what the user is doing after they engage with that piece of content on social. So if you have a link to your website, you know, what are they doing once they click through? Are they just staying on the homepage and exiting the site? Or are they sticking around for a while? What kind of pages are they navigating to once they're, they're, they're coming through the site? Are you even converting on, on whatever it is that you're actually trying to get, the action that you're trying to get people to do once they come into your website? So it's really key to not just, you know, start and end on social, really try to understand what the user is doing. And a strong social strategy uh, really is only sound if it's coming from a larger marketing or digital strategy. I mean, I think you really need to understand what's going on from the top of the house for the brand um, and what kind of conversation they're trying to instill. And really, again, it all comes down to the user too. You need to understand the user base that you're trying to attract, um, the people that will be following your brand, understanding what they've come to expect, what they need from the brand, um, and what kind of conversation they're, they're, they're out there having on social. So I think students should be exposed to, you know, all aspects of social. There's the upfront strategy, there's the content creation, there's community management, there's measuring and analytics, and then there's actually reporting out. I think that that's key, but if there's one thing, you know, that I, I truly firmly believe in, in social is that it shouldn't live in a silo. So if students can show that, you know, what they were doing on social supported any kind of larger marketing strategy or supported the brand in a, in a really specific way, that is definitely something that will, will help students coming out of school to be able to show and be able to tell that story. I think there's uh, three key skills that communication students need uh, coming out of school. One is collaboration. Uh, you're going to be working across a number of different groups and a number of different key stakeholders within your companies or if you're in an agency environment working with different brands and different companies. Another is adaptability. I mean, you need to sort of be able to change on the fly, especially in communications and marketing. Um, things are changing daily. And then I think the third is empathy. I think you need to truly understand um, the end user and understand their goals and then craft communication strategies to uh, best connect with them.